My name is Lockwood. The year, 1801. I'm traveling from my home to the rented place that they call Thrushcross Grange. Currently, I'm traveling to Wuthering Heights to meet with my landlord, Master Heathcliff. His origin remains unknown to me and to those around him. If only I knew more about my tenant. I slowly entered the home, and I looked around, a very desolate place, cobwebs, haunted paintings, and who could this be? I turned around, and I saw a big brute-like man. Perhaps this was Heathcliff's son, or maybe his brother. But then I turn, and I see other guest in the home. One among them, a man named Joseph, one of the house's servants, and another female guest, Kathy. But I don't know that she's Kathy yet, because I think that she's Heathcliff's daughter. Now, where is the female servant? that they call Nellie. Hello, Nellie. What would you like to say about Wuthering Heights? Would you like to tell me more about the background? Oh, hello, Mr. Lockwood. And yes. So, do you know anything of my landlord Heathcliff's or origins? Um, okay, so, uh, so, uh, uh, Mr. Heathcliff got taken in by the Charles when he was young, and then he grew up and he got, uh, he was made a servant by Henley, who was the father of uh, Harrison, and then, uh, uh, uh Harrison, Harrison uh, was made a servant by Heathcliff, but they were doing this because, uh, Catherine, who's dead now, uh, was, uh, was uh, Heathcliff's soulmate, and then she married Edgar because uh, she told me about the story on and on, and finally I learned everything about my landlord. I went upstairs to find a place to sleep as I couldn't leave as it began night time and the mobs run thicketh in this time. I go up the stairs, and I turn and I see a cupboard. I see papers inside, with drawings on them. One of Joseph, a good caricature, a funny one at that. And I turn and inscribed on the drawer, Catherine Earnshaw, Catherine Heathcliff, Catherine Linton. I wondered what meaning did this all have? I look out the window menacingly. Stead. I have no clue where this ends. Morning broke. I'm still at Wuthering Heights. I descend back down the stairs. All the guests seem so depressed. What do these ancient chambers hold? These untold secrets, this past of unatoned sins calling me. I say goodbye to Nelly. Goodbye, Nelly. Goodbye. <coughs> goodbye, Master Lockwood. In search of my horse, I find Joseph's garden, I presume. A beautiful garden. As I still search for my horse to n oh there it is, um, I look at the beautiful land, the un the the natural aspect of the land and the way that it's shaped, the beautiful work of the servants of Wuthering Heights is <coughs> so good. I see it. I come to a split end, Pennystone Crags that way. 
at Thrushcross Grange. Back to my planned estate. On the way back, I come along a, a land. I come along a land, one that I am very unfamiliar with. I've heard people talk of the moors, but never once have I experienced them. Briefly, as I walk through the moors, I have a intense feeling of being observed. I looked to my left and no one was there. I turned to my right and no one was there. I've heard tales of the ancient Heathcliff and Catherine still wandering on the moors to this day. And I personally don't know if I agree with the afterlife still existing on this world, but it is unmistakable what I have observed in this past few months. Now I slowly return back to my land.